Hello guys, this is Lotus. Today I'm to show you how to finish your edge like glass. So here's the final example that I'm going to show you today. Um, you could usually do this with water, of course, but then if you use water, this finish doesn't last very long. So in order to make a um, long last glassy finish, you need to go through um, several steps and you use some kind of products like Tokono or Hunori or any other stuff. So I will go to go through these basic steps that can you you could usually um, achieve this glassy finish and quite durable finish that you could um, put on your um, leather products. Uh, before I go into the steps, I'd like to explain you the basics and details about this. Uh, this is the small piece of uh, vegetable tan leather. This method only works with a vegetable tan leather, and this is the glue's um, surf. I mean the side side view of the glue two piece. You can see that there is a um, you can see there's almost no gaps but here if you see there's some gaps between two because size is different. There's some, some gaps between one um, upper piece and lower piece and there's also glue squeezed out. Okay on this side it's very rough. You can see the glue and the size is all different. If you, yeah, if you see it sideways of course too. Now this is the basic steps. You cannot really get a glass finish or any other finish from this rough and this um, misalignment glued on, on the part like this. So you need to remove this. Um, in order to remove this or make it even like flat, the best way to do this is just cut the small part of this. So I'm going to just cut it. I'm going to lay it down here and I'll put a ruler and I'm going to just cut it okay. since it's 2 mil vegetable leather uh, everything included is 4 millimeter thick it's quite thick so, so we'll cut okay now if you see now it's much more clean okay so you need to be at this state in order to get a glass finish Okay, and if it's a spot that you cannot really uh, get your lay on your ruler and your knife on, on, for example, if you have like gusset or bags, or like any other spots like wallets, if you if it's like thick or multi-dimensional piece that you cannot really cut, you could use this plane. Okay, this is originally designed for woodcraft, but uh, this also people use it for leather also okay so I already adjusted the thickness you just don't need too much of blade sticking out okay you almost see no blade sticking out from this hole okay so it's you need to just barely cut the leather so for example just to show you how much it is Like this very thin piece, okay. So after planing, you also get clean edge like this. So you need to start from here, okay. Now after you get the clean surface, you need to bevel the edge. This is um, I did the re already did the review. Um, this is Edge Rebeler from Leathercrafts.jp. I'll put the link in the description box. It's a double zero zero size, uh, which is 0 0.4 millimeter, and this is smaller size they have. So I will just bevel the edge nicely. Okay. We have beveled edge, a really clean cut, like this. Okay. Now you need to use a product called Tokono. Uh, in this case, this is a clear color. You shake the bottle a little bit, and then okay. there's spot, uh, some um, reservoir on the top. You don't need to dip your finger inside, or you can use an applicator, but I will just use my finger. Just a little bit. 
then I'll apply some that edge this okay okay so I applied it like this and I will let it dry a little bit just a little bit not, not so dry and I'm going to explain you uh, about this stuff okay so while we'll wait just a little bit we're going to explain you the slicker uh, this is ebony slicker it doesn't have to be ebony uh, I'm really telling you it doesn't have to be ebony it doesn't have to be coco bolo but one thing I recommend for you guys is that you know these grooves have quite um, like really shine polished finish and actually it's not so good for wood slickers if they have so much polished um, surface on the grooves it doesn't really help get the like friction or the, the enough of uh, uh, how should I say the forces that these groovers work on the edge leather so I just roughened very very slightly with 2000 grit sandpaper and this will get sort of this matte finish I think you really can see it on us like this it's not polished it's actually quite matte finish here spot it's a bit polished because of the edge work that I did but this kind of matte finish that you have on, on with the wood is actually much better than polished polished wood it looks it looks good if you receive the tool and if it's polished it's very nice but then it doesn't really uh, work so I prefer you roughen it a tiny bit with the 2000 grit sandpaper but if your wood is too rough that's also not good so uh, like I said it doesn't have to be ebony it doesn't have to be coco bolo it just has to be top, um, quite rough micro rough a little bit for the wood slicker and if you have a just normal wood uh, like a bright color like this color wood slicker yeah it's fine too and you use sandpaper uh, this is uh, 2000 grit sandpaper and above 2000 grit it's not so good so at least you need to have 1500 grit sandpaper or 2000 grit sandpaper and first okay now it's dried like clear okay dry like this okay now we need to um, polish the edge and be careful that you try to use a wider groove for thick leather so what I mean is that for example if you try to use the second layer if you fit this leather edge there's a gap between the groove okay so this is a pretty round so even though this uh, looks like it fits here actually it's not because if you see the very end at the edge um, because of the rounded groove this flat line it is a, there's a gap so make sure to go to the wider gap so that all this edge meets the wood okay so I will put the right wide gap and I'll start to you don't need to press in so hard okay just don't push it so hard you will like mushroom mushroom mize your your edge okay so Okay, now first, first step is done. So it should be look like this. Uh, some people finish like this, but then you need more glassy edge. So now you take this sandpaper and you try to rub it in. Now, the key point is that do not try to use a fresh side every time. So for example, this already worn out, but then it's good. So what I'm saying is that here, let me show you. This part is. Um, quite new this part is used now if I try to use this spot 
I should keep trying using this part on this edge of the edge of the leather because um, when the fresh grit starts, it um, it starts to worn out. This grit tried to um, worn out a little bit, and then it creates a um, finer sandpaper effect. So if not this start, uh, this is the grit as uh, two thousand grit sandpaper. As I use it on the leather edge, it will become three thousand or four thousand as I go, because this edge um, the grit is not fresh. So I'm going to use this spot. Then I use the same spot, just rub it in. Now, why we need the sandpaper to do this? Because if you want to get a glassy glass finish, the leather surface has to be like flat. Flat, um, what I mean is the surface, okay, not the edge geometry. So, for example, this is, you, you might see this is a flat. No, what I'm saying this is that this surface condition here, like it's fiber, right? Uh, leather is fiber. These all fibers has to be filled out, okay? Like completely. So what I'm doing is now, I'm as I'm sanding, I, I'm sanding this fiber down. So I'm slickering and then I'm sanding. So I'm making this fiber, like surface of this, I'm making this as flat as possible, as smooth as possible and then slickering so that when it becomes like truly smooth, it becomes like glass. So glass effect is like you bounce off all these lights all the way because if you bounce to, in order to bounce off all the lights, you need to have a clean surface, not a rough surface. Okay, so normally leather is rough if you see it sideways. So you need to treat that to make it a glass. I hope you understand what I mean. Okay, now after you sanding, you need some more tokono again. dry a little bit maybe I should do it now a bit early but it's okay This is not a like standardized or like any fixed method. It depends on what kind of leather you have. Uh, this only works with the vegetable leather, but uh, then every leather has different kind of moisture and oil content inside of their leather. So uh, you may need to do it more or less. Okay, depends on what kind of leather you use. So to try to do it until you're satisfied with your results. Okay. Okay, now this is second tokono and second slickering. Okay, now it becomes more glassy as before. Okay, now I'm going to use the sandpaper again. I'm going to make it smooth. And this is my final steps, and this is usually what I've done.
to make a perfect glassy smooth finish just you need to be more patient and be passionate about it okay okay so after sanding with the sandpaper you don't use a tokono you just go with the slick going again okay I just want to make it real so that you can see every step, every every second, so that you can see the result. Okay. Okay, now my posture was not so good in front of the camera, but now you get the glassy finish. Okay, you can go for several more steps if you want. Now, this surface has quite a thick layer of tokono finish. Now, it has been compressed down by slickering, so this will last quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. This lighting doesn't do much justice in front of the camera, so I hope you understand this. Um, you might go on to finer sand grit, sand grit. So, for example, if you want to do more, if you, this is 7000 grit sandpaper, and then I'll go. Again. So if you guys really like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I've done quite a bit of videos in the, in the past, so you can go ahead and click my name, Leather Tools, and then you can find many other videos. I made almost more than 200 videos, uh, not almost, like I actually made more than 200 videos. You might find something really useful um, information or you might find something very interesting. So please like, sorry like and subscribe because it helps the channel going a lot and i hope you guys have a great day today and i'll see you guys next video bye bye